GoPros are great for a lot of things. They're very versatile, but one problem is that the mounts aren't very reusable with their adhesive backs. The mounts can also be pretty expensive. So today, I will show you how to design your own GoPro mount that can be easily attached almost anywhere and just as easily removed. Keep watching as I walk you through the process of making your own Go Anywhere GoPro mount. All right, well, I use Inventor, but these techniques should pretty much transfer over to whatever you're using, whether it's SolidWorks or NX or whatever it is. Um, but in order to make the GoPro mount that can go anywhere, basically you need to make a base plate. And so I'm gonna start a sketch on any plane, doesn't really matter, and then create a square. And I'm going to make these two sides equal, so that makes sure it's a square. And then I want this to be about 50 millimeters wide. And then just for simplicity, I like to center it on the origin. And using formulas is good because then if you change one dimension, it will automatically uh, keep a center. So if I change this to 60, it's everything is still centered. So that's a good practice to have. Okay, so now the basics outline is, is made. We have to make some slots. And this is for the straps to go through. So I got the slot tool here, and I'm doing center to center, just like that. And start here, go about there, and click it. Now we can dimension it. So first of all, I'm going to set the length to be 24.5 millimeters. Um, the radius of the edges, which also sets the width, will be 2.25. And um, you can set the center of this to the outside edge to be six millimeters, and then of course center it on the origin. Let's make that zero, and now that's good to go. Now, really, we need to have four of these, uh, one basically on each side, and that will have the strap going through here and then coming back out on the other side. In order to save from having to create each one individually, what you can do is go up here and do a circular pattern. Select the geometry, and then select the point and axis of rotation. There we go. And create four instances around 360 degrees and click OK. And now they're all identical and 90 degrees apart from each other, so it's everything is good to go. Click finish and extrude it five millimeters. That's a good size. Oh, clicking it would be good. And then I'm just gonna quickly fillet the corners. Looks good. Perfect. Next we need to do is the tabs uh, to actually mount the GoPro in. So to do that, we'll create another sketch, click on one of the sides of, of this base plate, and we're gonna use three rectangles to do this. So just go ahead and create them anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Um, Cause then we'll dimension it and make it all relationships all straight so you can make this line straight with this line and then straight with this line and this line straight with this line and this line straight with that line that's already uh, pre-done and so that will create all of their widths to be the same so we can go ahead and set that width to 15 millimeters and um, the spacing and the size are going to be different. The center one is a little bit bigger than the top and bottom ones. Um, and so just going ahead and dimensioning those, that will be 2.5 for the outer ones. And that will be equal to that. 
and then set the dimension for the middle one. Uh, that will be 2.8 millimeters. And now we can set the gaps. This is 3.5, and this, oops, not the angle, but the space between it should be the same. Okay, now we need to center it on the origin. And that's going to be this divided by two. And we'll do this and make that dimension divided by two. And now everything is nice and centered. So we can go ahead and extrude this. The three rectangles and set the height to 18 millimeters. Perfect. Now, um, I'm just going to simply fillet this each side to make it nice and round. And because it was a 15 millimeter width, we want that, uh, we want it to be half of that. So we'll do 7.5. And there you go. Looks good. Uh, we need to make one more rectangle and that will go on the bottom down here and that is for the nut to be mounted in uh, for the GoPro. So go ahead and just make a rectangle and we want uh, the top to be collinear with the bottom so that makes sure it's touching and then we can just dimension this really quickly that's 3.5 millimeters sticking out and that will be 12 millimeters wide and of course centered will be half of that. Perfect. Go ahead and finish that and click extrude. And we're going to make this 17 millimeters high so it's just a little bit shorter. And we'll go ahead and fill it this. And this will be half of its width so that will be 6. Alright, now the next thing that we need to do is create the hole. Alright, come on, zoom out. The hole to go, or for the bolt to go through all of it. So I'm going to go to this side and create a circle. Make sure it's co -centric, or concentric with the outer radius. And make that 5.6 millimeters. Hit extrude, select the circle, do extrude cut, and I'm just gonna do all. So now we have the hole going through, but now we need to make the hex shape for the nut. So I will start a sketch here and go from rectangle to polygon and I'm going to center it on that circle and there you go. So now we can dimension this. First I'm going to create the angle I want it to be and I want this part to be flat because that's how I'm going to print it out. So we'll go ahead and make this 60 degrees and that makes this line here parallel with this line which is going to be the base plate on my printer as well. So now we need to size everything and I'm going to make this 8.1 millimeters. 8.1 and perfect everything is good to go. Now hit the extrude, select the hexagon, do extrude cut and I'm going to go to and click on this surface. And now you have that shape. Now the only thing that's left to do is just make it nice and smooth. Um, I want to have a little bit of nice transition on these guys. So I'm going ahead and fill it everything here. I'll make it five.
I don't know why. That one was like that. I guess I'll just do that by itself. Sometimes Inventor does crazy things. Um, and the other uh, part I want to make sure I get fillet is all of these slots. And that is so that the strap can smoothly go in and move around on it. Um, as you're adjusting it. I'm gonna make this 2.5 millimeters. Okay, that looks pretty good. Do a little fillet on the outer edge, on the top, just, just because I like it. And now we're gonna do some fillets on this edge as well. This will help give it a little bit more support on the base. Let's see what three looks like. I guess a little off center there, so I'll make that too, and then I'm going to make a little fillet on there. And that looks pretty good. And so this should be able to be mounted just about anywhere that's fairly flat on uh, on its surface. A round bar uh, might be a little difficult, but something flat, it should work fine. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see me print it out and show you how to make everything that goes with it, hit that subscribe button so you know when part two comes out. Until next time, thanks for watching.